Air thwarts give you the ability to place paddlers and gear where you need them while adding structural integrity to the boat. How tall you are, personal preference on how you sit and paddle, and hauling gear can all be factors on where to set your thwarts. Keep in mind you can put these anywhere you want, but this install will show you how to place them in your boat evenly so your boat is as balanced as possible. We will start with how to install an odd number of thwarts and then show you how to install an even number of thwarts. Each thwart comes with a four pack of three foot cam straps to install each thwart. They have an extra piece of material covering the D-ring. This is the skirt. It helps to conceal the straps and protect the collar of the raft from the cam buckles. Here is what you see on the inside of the skirt. For this demonstration, we're using a template with no skirt on it so you can clearly see how to run the straps. Always start at the bottom D-ring so the buckle will rest in place on the bottom D-ring. This keeps the buckle lower and out of the way once you inflate the boat. Run the strap over the top and down through the lower D-ring and then back up through the opening in the cam buckle behind the thumb lever. Then run the strap up to the upper D-ring and down through the top. Run the opposing straps the same way. Move to the other side of the thwart and repeat the process. From there it is ready to attach to the raft. Locate the stern of the boat by the caution label and or serial number in the stern or you can find the splash guard over the lacing which indicates the bow. The valve on the thwarts should face towards the stern. Locate the oval shape on one side of the boat in the center of the floor lacing. This is the center mark. Line up the center notch on the skirt of the thwarts to the center mark on the boat. The thwarts will span seven lace loops from the front strap to the rear strap on the thwart. From the center, count three lace loops back and run your strap down and back through the other side of the lacing so the lacing shows an X pattern on top of the strap. This allows the strap to pull evenly on the floor lacing without rubbing on the PVC. Try to keep the straps as straight as possible when you're installing the thwarts. Move forward three lace loops from the center mark, skipping five lace loops between each strap and attach the front strap to the lacing. Tighten the straps until the thwart skirt is in line with the zipper on the floor. Move back behind the center thwart, skip three lace loops and attach the front of your next thwart to the fourth lace loop behind the center thwart. Run the straps the same as the center one, making sure you see the X pattern on the lacing above the strap. Counting this lace loop, move back to the seventh loop, skipping five and attach your rear strap. Tighten the straps down until the thwart skirt is even with the zipper in the floor. Move to the front of the center thwart, skip three lace loops, and run the rear strap down through the fourth lace loop and back up to the buckle. Move forward to the seventh lace loop, skipping five, and run the front strap down through the hole and back up to the cam buckle, just like the others. Mm -hmm. 
Now you're done with one side of the boat. Tuck the tails of the straps inside the skirt once you have them set in place. Move to the other side and repeat this process. Again, starting with the center thwart until the thwarts are correctly strapped into place and lined up with the zipper on the floor. If you have five thwarts to install, skip three lace loops between the thwarts and attach your other thwarts the same as the others. Inflate your boat and thwarts and make sure they are snug and stay in place against the floor. Any extra room under the thwart can cause an entrapment hazard for your feet, so make sure these are firmly secured to the lace loops and floor top once the boat is inflated. Find the oval shape in the floor at the center point. The lace knot should be in the same place. Skip one lace loop back from the center mark and attach the front thwart strap to the second lace loop back. Run your strap down and back up to the other side of the lacing so you have an X pattern on top of the strap. Counting the front strap, move seven lace loops back, skipping five, and attach the rear strap the same as the front. From the center mark, move forward and skip one loop and attach the rear strap to the second loop. This leaves three lace loops between each thwart. Counting this, move forward seven lace loops, skipping five and attach the front strap to the lacing. Move to the other side and repeat this process. This is the setup for a two thwart boat. If you are setting up a four thwart boat, skip three loops between each thwart and attach the next thwart the same as the other two. Inflate your boat and the thwarts and make sure that they are secured and in place against the floor. Now you're ready to take your raft out and adjust your thwart placement as needed.